Hey guys, I just wanted to uh, do a video really quickly to let you know that I was going to be listing some of these um, mini travel art journals for you guys. A lot of you have been asking me for them and when I was going to list them. So I am going to list several of them. Um, these are from the Quick Show and Tell. Um, these are fun. These are uh, full of uh, mixed media paper and watercolor paper. I'm not sure which. I'll have to double check. but. They'll be listed and the information will be listed about them. And then these two I didn't do a video on, so I'll show you really quickly what's inside. I'm pretty sure I didn't do a video on them. Um, but it's got mixed media paper inside and a bunch of little hearts. I thought it might be appropriate for Valentine's Day to go ahead and list these. And there's some washi tape in this one. So that one will be listed, and then here's another one with some Baker's Twine with the heart theme, except this one's pink. Some more washi tape, and these are stamped hearts mostly, I believe. Yeah. And then in the back, there's some sta uh, heart stickers and some washi tape. What? I'm ripping it apart. So um, these will be listed. I think I'll probably put... Um, mini travel art journals for my subscribers because I really want you guys to be able to pick these up. Um, I guess anybody could pick them up, but I really wanted them to be for you guys. And then these two I did, the faux Tim Holtz uh, tissue wrap look. So these two will be available. And then the um, water-soluble crayon flower old book page. Uh, one will be available and then the ghosting technique the the first one that I did will also be available um, I have some new ones that I haven't shown videos on so I thought I would show you all these two I think there's pictures and stuff on Instagram or Facebook but um, these also just a bigger form of the travel art journal so I wanted to show you all these really quickly because they're going to be listed um, for you guys too so this one has a magnet closure and then inside there is a double a double art journal I guess so there's two sets of pages and then there's two clips also so these have, these have been sprayed um, with different I think these were this might be a mixture of India ink and Lindsay, Lindsay's Stamp Gang Lindy's Stamp Gang um, really pretty colors really pretty um, so anyway it comes with clips two clips that have been painted to match so greens and purples and then like I said there's mixed media paper in there and then it has the magnet closure and then this one has a metal flower and it also has a magnet closure and then it is full and it has a pocket and it is full of mixed media paper and then there's there's a clip to keep, you know, to help keep it closed. This one's sewn, both of these are sewn directly into the binding. Um, see there? So these, this one has three signatures. And then this one um, is a double uh, book again, a double art journal. This one also has a metal flower. This is an odd color for me. I don't usually use reds and oranges and peaches and stuff. So um, I really had fun making this one. Some washi tape. A magnet closure there. Uh, this I used, I'm thinking Jawent, um, oh, what are they called? Jawent Ink Tense Blocks is what I used to make this cover. And some gesso. And then this one also comes with two clips. And then the um, mixed media paper is sewn directly into, into the cover. So... These are a lot of fun. I've been I've been wanting to do a video on how I made these, but I haven't got around to it. So it's kind of the same concept as the smaller ones. It's just um, a little bit bigger. So those there's those. I also wanted to tell you really quickly um, about the my Southern Charm instant download printable mini book. Um, some of you may notice that you go over to my site and it's not there. I had to deactivate the instant download um, version because there's this new European, I don't know if it's called VAT or VAT, 
tax law thing and right now there's absolutely no way I can comply with that. Um, Etsy um, is supposedly working on it. It's extremely frustrating. So I do know this. I can, if you want to sh uh, go over to my Etsy shop or even in the comments below, I can make an instant, um, an instant, I can make a custom listing for people who are in the States. I can do, still do the instant download. I can make you a custom listing for each one. Um, if you are in an, a non-European country, I can make you an instant download. If you are, so far, UK is the only one that's allowing us to email the downloads instead of having them be instant. Um, but all the other European countries, I'm not sure they weighed in yet. But I'm not sure how long this is going to take to sort out. But for the time being, that's what I'm going to have to do. Um, there is a physical version on there, which you get uh, 20 pages, one of each um, page in the download. And then you get a whole bunch of little extra stuff to help you make the books. It is a little more costly because I have to take it to a place to have them printed uh, for laser copy. Um, but I figured if you buy that, the physical version now, when I come up with a way to get everybody the actual digital version, I will be shipping those out to, or emailing or whatever, to everybody who bought the physical version, just so you'll have the digital version as well. So for now, that's, that's all I can do. I'm not sure what's going to happen. So today is January 22nd. So at the time of this recording, that's where I'm at. So hopefully that'll change really, really soon. Um, Cause I really, really, really think people are getting upset with me and it's not my fault, I'm sorry. Okay, so I'm working on that. So I just want to let you know. So check back or email me or go to Etsy and, and um, you know, have a conversation with me over there and I will take care of everything that I can for you or can do what I can for you. All right. I also want to talk about some other new stuff that I have made for you guys too. It's art journals. Um, they're bigger version. Look at, aren't they pretty? I don't know why, but this size, I've just really, 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 really liked working with the size. And let me go get the book that I based this off of really quick. <clears throat> Do you remember when I did this? art journal page. Well, this is the size that I'm really liking working in. I don't know. It's just, it's the perfect size. It's not too big. It's not too small. Um, I just really like it. So I, it's hard to find this size book, believe it or not. I'm not sure why, but I believe this size book is, oops, sorry about that. It's like four and a half to four and three fourths by seven and a quarter. So it's a really okay, great so size. What I did was I made um, these art journals. The covers are made out of the mixed media, mixed media, <laughs> mixed media paper um, that I sprayed with India ink. So it'll be permanent so you can go over top of it, no problem. And their, their total size is, whoops, seven and a quarter by five when it's folded up, but the pages are smaller. But it's just a roundabout, and all it is is uh, there's three signatures in here, and I use seam binding as the closure, and on the end of the seam binding is two handmade um, paper beads that match. So it just wraps around. That way, it allows for you to make it, you know, thicker as you work, and it's sewn directly onto the mixed media paper. So there's three signatures, and then the I think there's four pages in each signature. That way you can you can work in these without worrying about um, how thick they get. You can work in them without worrying about destroying them. I mean, it's mixed media paper, so anything that gets on them, it's 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 going to be able to take that. It's going to um, there's uh, there's marks to allow for thickness. Um, and there's not that many pages in here, so you don't have to feel like you're overwhelmed by all the different you know pages and, and I know they're blank but um, I've been working in one this was my prototype so yours the, the actual finished product is different um, and I've been making a, a hot mess 
you know, ink's just getting everywhere. Oh, there's my frustration with Etsy right there and this new law. Um, but inks are getting everywhere, and that's okay because it's just um, a small mixed media, completely mixed media paper book. Um, the prototype is different. Things that there's things I've changed. I made it not so thick. There's five signatures in this one, and I rounded the edges. Um, you can see that. But as I started working in it, I realized that the the rounded edges on the top part there make it really hard to to not make a mess. So um, I took the rounded edges part out and I made it a little bit thinner so that I didn't feel like I was sipping, you know, so overwhelmed with um, the size of the book. So also they come. Oh, one more thing. They come with a clip. And they also come with two sheets of wax paper to use while you're working so that you can, you know, minimize the, the mess that's made. So th I put on my listing that they were 12 by 12. They're not. They're 12 by 10, but I'll have to change that, hopefully, <laughs> before I put this up. Um, another feature that I really like about this art journal is that when you're done, or even before you begin, this is not glued on so you can take this off if you want to finish the cover or do the cover um, and you won't have to worry about the seam binding getting in the way and um, it comes in five colors there's pink there's green you can't see the little beads there's green there is blue there is purple my favorite and then there is vintage so there's all different color options, um, and I'm going to put these up for you guys too, and I'm also going to do a video working in my prototype one so that you can see how, um, how, cool, how cool it is that you don't have to be so precious with it. Precious. So I heard somebody else say that. Uh, I can't recall who it was. Uh, you know what? It was Jenny Belly. She said something about worrying about being too precious with her art journal materials, and it's true. It's hard not to to worry about that stuff. So this I thought was a good way to to not have to worry about. I mean, look at the mess I'm making, and it's okay because eventually I can come back and finish this cover to make it look prettier than it does right now. Um, and another thing I wanted to show you, another art journal that I've made using um, my digital my southern southern charm digital. Uh, papers I made a different um, a different page basically different design um, and here's the cover and the whole book is shaped like a tag and what's cool about that is you know you see people making tags all the time and I don't know what it is about the shape but there's just something fun about it and I love tags tags are part of practically everything I do so I made a book there's the back there's my favorite print from my printable um, and everything has a uh, whole reinforce whole reinforcer reinforcements I'm not sure um, and I left this blank for a title and then the inside also has a space for a title see I've already been working in it I just really find it cool and this is the same size as these so it's it's the finished size is a seven and a quarter by four and three fourths and the pages are seven let's see four and a half by seven so again I find this page size to be just excellent not too big not too small it also comes with two sheets of pre-inked whole reinforcements or reinforcers um, to put on your page before or after you're working on it like this one I put on after um, not completely after, but at a certain stage when I was done with the paint, because this is like acrylic ink and acrylic ink, acrylic paint, and some stenciling with some uh, modeling paste and some ink. Um, and then I did. I've been playing, just messing around with it. And then this one, I kind of did a two-page spread, but not. So it's two separate pages but along the same color scheme so um, I did this one 
Isn't this cool? I've been wanting to use one of these little Prima, um, not even sure what they're called. Um, let me see. Shabby Chic Treasures Antique Garden Sinks. I've been wanting to use one of these, and they're kind of an odd size. So, like a my bigger art journal, it's too small. Um, and like for a tag or something, for a small tag, it's too big. So this is the perfect chance for me to use it. And I just love the way this turned out. There's old book pages under there, and then there's some, um, I used some, te not texture paste, but a modeling paste for the brick. And then there's a stencil. And then of course the garden sink and then pretty little flowers coming out of it coming out of it and then of course i use my spray inks i just love love those things and they're permanent so i can go over top um, and not worry about other things moving around that i want it to stay that way i use some um, faber castell pit pens and then over here um, I sprayed, uh, the base of both pages were sprayed at the same time. That way that I felt like that would keep the color harmony so there wouldn't be two totally drastic different pages on here. Um, and this one I just used a um, die cut frame that I had had old book pages and I die cut it. And then this little girly here, I drew her and she's in, hold on, let me grab that. Look at this sucker. This sucker is getting big. I had to put this gigantic rubber band on it. And these are cool. These are for file folders, so they stretch pretty big. Um, so this this girl here, she's actually, whoops, my little, she's actually right here. I haven't finished this page yet, but um, I did make a copy of the drawing that I did of her. And so, I thought she would be really cute in that frame there. Let me put this up. Clip this back on. I need to finish this page eventually. Um, but yeah, look how fat this is getting. I might have to take some pictures, some pictures, some pages out because it's getting chunky. Um, anyway, so I uh, copied her and I made her a little bigger. And, you know, the blues matches the blue over here. And I don't know, just the overall feel of it, um, the color scheme, everything is the same. And then I use some of my word strips from my printable. Um, and you know, there's just basically inks and there's white, some white paint. Um, and there's the whole reinforcer, by the way, I added that last. This one I didn't add at all because of the, um, the die cut. Um, so that's all I've done in this book so far, but I was going to also do a video using this so you can see um, how much fun it is to use these too. So these are all available um, at my Etsy shop, all these cool art journals. So I'm going to do a couple videos. I'm going to do one. All right. one. I'm not sure where that cut off, but um, I, like I said, I'm going to do a video really soon using my prototype of this art journal and, um, uh, shoot, this isn't a prototype. This one's mine. <laughs> and a video using this art journal. Uh, so check back pretty soon and go over to my Etsy shop. I think what I'll do is just make a listing or put the direct link below to my Etsy shop. Um, instead of individual listings because there's a whole bunch between these um, and the other art journals, I'll just put a, a link to my shop. So go over there and check them out and scoop them up before they're, before they're gone. There's two of each color right now, so if you all really like them, I'll make more. Um, and hopefully you buy it and like it and let me know what you think. Um, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Uh, be sure to subscribe. Um, if you have any questions or comments, leave that below. And I will see you next time. Bye.